Well guys, a very, very classic French traditional recipe that I'm bringing up today, which is called beef bourguignon. I think many of you, when they go, when you go to a restaurant, you see beef bourguignon, then you have this fantastic, it's beautiful, and you say like, how to make this thing? So today, secrets, it's gonna be over, because I'm bringing up this recipe, and I'm gonna make with all of you. I would suggest to all of you to pay too much attention and to see the video before if you want to make this recipe because it's like three, three steps. We're gonna have the marinade, we're gonna have the cooking of the stew, and we're gonna have the garnishes, okay? Additionally to, uh, to this, it's gonna be the side dish of the garnish also. There's gonna go like, I'm gonna serve it with mashed potato, but some people might have it with rice or fried potatoes or whatever okay so this video today i'm gonna i'm gonna dedicate to all the chefs i've been working through a lot of years in brassie blanc and the white brasserie company because they know very well how good is this dish and they have done this like million times to serve all our great customers so i hope that you enjoy this video this is chef versus corona and we're gonna cook it together. Well, the first step for this particular recipe is to have all the ingredients ready, okay? This is gonna be the first step. On the second step, we'll, I will show also the, 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 the ingredients ready. So I'll mix and plus for the first day, it's gonna be the beef already cut and diced. I have all the vegetables also cut and diced. So I have the onions, the uh, carrots, and the celery already chopped. I have the red wine, and I have a bouquet garnish of fresh parsley, fresh thyme, and bay leaf. Okay. What we need to have, we need to have one container where we're gonna put all the meat to be marinating uh, for about eight hours. I will leave it overnight, but it, you can leave it for eight hours. And then in this pan, what we're going to do, we're gonna put the red wine. I'm gonna reduce it by a third. Okay, so let's do it. Well, the red wine has been reducing, okay? So now what we're going to do is, in this container that I have with the lid, I'm gonna put all the ingredients and I'm gonna pour over the red wine. I'm gonna mix it a little bit when it cools down because of the temperature of the meat. And then I'm gonna put the lid on and keep it in the fridge for eight hours minimum. But I'm gonna leave it, as I said, overnight. Well guys, the beef has been marinated overnight, completely overnight, okay? So now, I have it here, that smells like, oh my god. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one bowl and this colander and I'm going to pass everything here to drain all the juices, okay? And then I will remove the meat from the vegetables. So we will have the meat in one side, vegetables in another side, and the juices in another side, okay? And then I'll show you what we're going to do. So while we're waiting for the, the beef to be drained completely, yeah? Then, 
I'm gonna have the rest of the ingredients ready while we're gonna use when, once the beef is completely ready to use, yeah? I have chicken stock, brown chicken stock. You can buy this already done in a tetra pack or something like that. Or you can make it if you know how to make brown chicken stock. You can use also veal stock if you want, but I'm using, I like to use the brown chicken stock. I have the flour, toasted flour. As you know, if you have a pan, put the flour in and cook it a little bit until, without burning it, without burning it and stirring it a little bit with a, with a wooden spoon until you get the color that you want, yeah? That will help us to give that color to the sauce. If you have a grill and, or, or, or oven, then just put it in, in, in a tray, put it in, in the oven, 200 degrees, eight minutes, done, okay? I have sunflower oil that we're gonna use to pan fry the meat. And I have salt, white pepper, and garlic cloves. The garlic cloves, I'm just gonna crack them, okay? Just crack them. Because we want that flavor, that raw garlic flavor into this stew, okay? So let's wait until the meat is ready. Well, the meat is ready, so I have the meat in one bowl, the vegetables with the bouquet garnish in the other one, and I have the juices in the other one. What I'm going to do in a pan, very hot pan, uh, very hot pan, I'm gonna put vegetable oil and I'm gonna give color to the meat, okay? And after that, I'm gonna put the vegetables to give color and then we're gonna put all together to carry on with the process and then leave it for one hour and a half, more or less, to get the stew ready. So only when the oil is really hot, we start adding the meat by batches, small batches. Well, all the meat was cooked, and then on the same on the same pot, I add the vegetables without the meat, the meat I reserve, and I'm just giving some color to these vegetables. It's gonna take about four minutes. We have the beef now. Now with all the ingredients inside, we bring it to the boil and when it's boiling, we reduce the heat to a medium heat, put the lid on and carry on cooking for about one hour and a half. Well guys, the beef bourguignon is already done, okay? And we have this fantastic, fantastic 
That looks beautiful. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is the last step. The last step is to get the garnish. The garnish that goes on top. In some places, they mix these things inside the stew. I make it separate. What do I have? I have small shallots. Okay, you can get grillots, you can get mm, baby onions, okay? I have this one, it's the one I could find, okay? And what I'm going to do with this, I'm gonna braise them with a little bit of water, with just a, a sprig of thyme. I'm gonna make it boiling, I'm gonna uh, uh, reduce to a simmering, 20 minutes, that's it, done, yeah? Bacon, bacon lardons. The bacon lardons, I'm just going to pan fry them until they get, they get some color. And mushrooms, I just cut into half and I'm going to put a little bit in a pan, a little bit of garlic, the mushroom on it with a little bit of olive oil, saute them, ready. And all these components going to go on top of the stew. Well, I have all the ingredients ready. The shallots are already braised. The mushrooms are already sauteed. And the bacon has got the color. I have the beef bourguignon ready, hot. And on a plate, I put mashed potato. This is the traditional way we used to serve it, but you can serve it with fried potatoes, or we can, you can serve it with any other garnish. I'm gonna serve it like this. So what I'm going to do on the plate, with the mashed potato, I'm gonna put a spoon of the meat and then some of the garnish on the top and it's ready to go to the table. Enjoy. <laughs>